ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋಮೆ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾಹೃದಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕಂ ನೀಳಾತುಂಗಸ್ತನಗಿರಿ ತಟಿ ಶುದ್ಧಮುದ್ಬೋಧ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾರಾರ್ಥ್ಯ ಸ್ವಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಶತಶಿರ ಸಿದ್ಧಮಧ್ಯಾಪಯಂತಿ ಸ್ವೋಚಿಷ್ಟಾಂ ಶಜನಿ ಗಣಿತ ಯಾಬಲಾಕೃತ್ಯ ಪುಂಕ್ತೆ ಗೋಧಾ ತಸ್ಯೈ ನಮೈದಮಿದ ಭೂಯ ಏವಾಸ್ತು ಭೂಯ ಅನ್ನವಯ ಅಲ್ಪುದುವೈ ಆಂಡಾಳ ಅರಂಗರ್ಕ ಪನ್ನು ತಿರುಪ್ಪಾವೈ ಪಲ್ಪದೀಯ ಇನ್ನಿಶಯಾಲ್ ಪಾಡಿ ಕೊಡುತ್ತಾಳ್ ನರ್ಪಾಮಾಲೈ ಭೂಮಾಲೈ ಶೂಡಿ ಕೊಡುತ್ತಾಳೈ ಚೊಲ್ಲೆ ಶೂಡಿ ಕೊಡುತ್ತ ಶುಡರ್ ಹುಡಿಯ ತೊಲ್ಪಾವೈ ಪಾಡಿಯ ರುಳವಲ್ಲ ಪಲ್ವಳೆಯಾಯ್ ನಾಡಿನಿ ವೆಂಕಟವರ್ಕೆನ್ನ ವಿಧಿಯಂದ್ರ ಇಮ್ಮಾಟ್ರ ನಾಮ್ ಕಡವ ವಣ್ಣಮೇನಲ್ ಹೇ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹವ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ the concluding pasuram of tripavai the 30th pasuram vanga kadal kada inda madhavanai keshavanai tingal tirumugath cheyilaya sendirainji anga parai honda vaatrai anipuduvai paingamala tanderiyal batabiran kodeshonna shankar tamil maale 30 um tappame ingu ip parishuraippa ee rendu maalvarai thol shankan tirumugath selva tirumalal engum tiruvarul petru ಇನ್ಬುರು ಇನ್ಬುರುವರ್ ಎಂಪಾವಾಯ್ ಸೊ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಈ ಸಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಾರ್ಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಓಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ನೋನ್ಬು later they pray to kannan what they want actually performing unconditional sharanagati at his lotus feet they were granted abhayam by him they were granted do not fear abhayam by him and appealed only for sevichifying and paying obeisances to him his lotus feet forever and all sang utromeyam umakke namaachivam matranam kaamangal maatru she imagined the nombu of these gopikas and in their roles sang all these pasuram so divinely so many inner meanings inner more meanings the essence vedic essence upanishadic thoughts everything is encapsulated enshrined in this 30 verses sharanagatas who recite these 30 pasurams daily are blessed to keep any further papam away from them being committed and even if they commit due to their karma this recitation becomes the prayas chitta for those inadvertent papams so these verses purify the people prapannas even ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಈವನ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ವಂಗ ಕಡಲ್ಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಮಾಧವನೈ ಕೇಶವನೈ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರಿಕ್ ರಿಕ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಆದಿಶೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕಿ ಓಷನ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಕಡಲ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಶಿಪ್ ವಂಗ ಮೀನ್ ಶಿಪ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಶಿಪ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಶೋರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಾಗರಂ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ immersed and drowning in the samsara sagaram without knowing its shore where the shore is without having any hold but he is there readily he is such a compassionate ship this milky ocean was churned by the lord along with devas on one side asuras on the other side he joined the deva goshti and churned his curly dark beautiful tresses became disordered due to his efforts and that fell on his shining forehead the crescent moon like forehead thus the hair the the tresses fell on the forehead and became keshavan when the ocean was churned before the nectar came lakshmi arose from there like the lightning beauty she went straight to lord shiva narayana and resided in his chest saying just being where i should be this is where i should be i will grant you all recommendation 
jivatmas and whatever that you all wish for hence he became madhavan shyapati pashyatam sarva devana yayau vakshasthalam harehe when all devas were witnessing she went and housed seated herself in his vakshasthala shri man narayana has now appeared as shri krishna of nandakula vedanta sagaram krishna swayam lokahitaya vai mamanta partha dhandena gitamritam abhut subham the same keshavan madavan has now become khannan churned the vedanta sagaram the ocean like the poison and nectar came out of the churning the poison was consumed by rudran shivan and showed his gratefulness to the lord the nectar was consumed by devas the lakshmi pen namud was con- was taken up by shriman narayana she went to shriman narayana and good things came out narayana gave birth to chaturmukha brahma brahma became the father of rudran thus he became keshavan he destroyed the kesya asura hence he became keshavan klesha nashan the destroyer of all klesham all papams all confusion hence he is keshavan when the upanishad and purusha suktam were churned we found the madavan lakshmipati shyapati madavan per solluvade ottin churuk trimaiji alvar says the essence of veda is nothing but the name of shyapati shriman narayana which is madavan gita bhagavad gita has anything and everything about thereby jivatmas can be blessed to attain salvation in the end the gita thus becomes the amritam for all jivatmas the charma shlokam alone is adequate for one to get salvation by doing what is said in the charma shlokam 18th chapter 66th shlokam thus it became gita amrita so like the lord as ship in shirabdi enabling the jivatmas to cross over the samsara sagaram just like tiruvalluvar said piravipperingalal neenduvar neendar iraivanadi sheradar people would cross the ocean and those who would not cross the ocean or those who do not surrender to the lotus feet would not cross the ocean of piravipperingalal the samsara sagar so if you surrender you will you are destined to cross Vedanta Sagaram is also full of ships there are 32 brahma vidyas and in each vidya brahman the lord shiva narayana is glorified praised with its respective kalyana gunams and the the vidya instructs us to do dhyanam accordingly when the performance of such dhyanam gets completed perumal enables through the performance of vidya the upasakas the the, the worshipper the doers of the dhyanam to cross over the samsara sagar thus through these 32 vidyas he shows himself as lakshmi kantan and shows himself in vedanta sagaram there are ships in this sagaram as well out of this 32 vidyas one is sharanagati vidya others known as others are known as bhakti yoga vidyas so one is sharanagati vidya other other vidyas are known as bhakti yoga vidya thus churning vedanta sagaram the lord gives us gita amritam and he shows himself as madavan and keshavan to such greatest kannan the most compassionate one these unparalleled beautiful girls of gopakumari those who wear most shining and beautiful ornaments who are blessed to be in the most auspicious kalyana gunams auspicious attributes sang and praised in different ways andal imagined herself in so many thousands of gopikas and sang all these praises and pasurams so that she is the one she irayar who went and prayed to kannan after waking him up waking him up how did she praise ayardam vilakke male manivanna ulagalanda umbar komane and praised uttering his greatest qualities and supreme position so these jivatma samsaris who are deeply caught trapped drowning in samsarik sagaram samsarik ocean samsarik afflictions in order to save them and enable them to attain moksha using the peerless 
unparalleled acharyas as the as the matti wooden shaft kannan churned the samsara sagaram removed the dirt of jivatmas completely using the the matte the stick which which get, which churns and get the sweetest nectar the mokshanandam at sri vaikuntha as well here itself being in the grace of such acharyas in the prabanjam in this earth being under the spell of sri man narayana through the divya mangala vigraham in archa as archa murti in the temple as archa murti in the shale gramam in our home you did all this krishna through your geeta amritam and charma shlokam says andal so you are the most compassionate one madhava keshava sarvo parishado ghavaha tokta gopala nandana parto vats sudhir bhokta tuktam geeta amritam mahat so all upanishads are the large cows that give, give milk uninterruptedly to us the upanishads are like the cows that give milk gnanam to us and they never fail to do so those who do not know how to milk get of course kicked by those cows thus being misled by the upanishads not getting the milk thereby sometimes those who know milking do not wash the nipples and get dirty milk which cannot be drunk also kanna you took birth in cow herd group knowing how to milk you most beautifully milk those huge cattle upanishads with the calf arjuna as an excuse as a pretext and you filled 18 large vessels with milk 18 chapters of gita you offered that milk to the capable one who can drink digest them the scholars the gnanavans the bhakti yogis etc the milk is gita amritam also churning this milk you brought the tasty butter which is vennai the prapatti sharanagati easy to consume and tastier as well you are such a parama dayalu kripakara karunakara dayanidhi the most merciful one and the most compassionate one so this tirupavai is sung by none other than bhumi pirati herself who appeared as a small girl in the garden of sri villiputtur butter piran periyalwar and became his daughter she is an ayonija she is not born of a human womb from the day she appeared she was devoted and interested in kannan and none else she is the daughter of bhagavata shrestha periyalwar the one who wears the garland of lotus beads in his chest he is butterbiran of villiputtur which is like an ornament for the world itself the villiputtur it is periyalwar who established the supremacy of sri man narayana in pandya kingdom by quoting the relevant vedic scriptures and purusha suktam and obtained his name conferred to him by the king as butterbiran king vallava deva announced the victory of periyalwar so such when vishnu chittar saw the lord who was overwhelmed with the with the conferring of this butterbiran to periyalwar vishnu chittar was also came out burst out with vatsalyam why did you come out outside why have you come here the place is full of evil people will cast evil glances on you with such beauty epitomized the people will have drishti on you he burst out like an affectionate caring mother with full of vatsalyam and sang mangala sasanam pallande to such greatest periyalwar there is a daughter shishya andal goda and it is her 30 verses which is a seed of all vedas and vedanta it is vedam anaitukkum vitte it is made in simple chaste very lucid sweet tamil verses easily understood by even less literate people this is sung by one who is devoted right from her birth shri krishna himself forgot the divine name narayana in his entire geeta there is no name narayana in the entire geeta but andal starts with narayana ne namakke paraitaruman it is narayana who will give us what we ask for the entire geeta does not mention about mahalakshmi he has forgotten her but our goda never leaves her tiru engum tiruvarul petri inburuvar embavai shangan tirumugath chelva tirumalal engum tiruvarul petri inburuvar embavai 
you will be blessed those who reside tirupavai will be blessed with grace of mahalakshmi at all places here as well as in sri vaikuntham at all times those who are capable of singing can sing this simply lovely pasurams in different ragas and set to different thala if one recites 30 verses daily without mistake he or she will be blessed with sakala saubhagyam here on this earth by the lord shriman narayana who has four broad shoulders which hug the most beautiful mahalakshmi who is adorned with most beautiful and most valuable ornaments who has red lotus eyes extending up to the ears accentuating divinely charming tirumukam he has the leela vibhuti and nitya vibhuti under his control at all times such as sarveshwara the reciters will be blessed with sri vaikuntha prapti at the end of that life he would place those reciters on his lap first hugging them inquiring them lovingly and caringly and later let them enjoy serving him eternally at his lotus feet and all thus blesses us the reciters so much so madavanai iraiji it shows the first half of dwaya mantra shelva tiruvalal engum tiruvarul petri inburuvar shows the second half of dwaya mantra shri devi and her spouse shri man narayana will grant us all mangalams all auspiciousness and hence do not forget to recite tirupavai daily this is the essence of all vedas in fact parasara butter mentions he um that one needs to recite this tirupavai without fail every day the great acharyan parasara butter who is a son of kuratalwan has observed appropriately that we should get up early in the morning and recite the 30 pasura if that were not possible no time we should at least recite the chitram chirigalai pasura if even that were not possible we should think of the joy we had in reciting the pasuram and listening to the meanings about them in earlier times parasara butter the one who composed the taniyan of tirupavai neela tunga stanagirita de suddha mudbotya krishna he revealed to us that the grace of the lord shri man narayana is sure to befall on us by listening to the recitation of his pirati tirupavai so the tirupavai is such a great wonderful pasuram grantham and one should never ever fail to recite this tirupavai adiya andal trividigale sharanam kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkatesaya vedanta gurave namaha dhanyosmi